Have you ever been rescued out of a scary situation? When I was, uh, before I was a Christian, I'll add this, but when I was about 13, I thought it would be a good idea to go with my cousins to see some illegal drag races in Mexico. And we arrived at the secret destination where the races would be held, and shortly after we arrived, the police arrived as well. And we fled, which is not what you want to do in Mexico, um, flee from the police. But we fled in an old Ford Explorer. And we didn't get far before we were pulled over. I was terrified. These weren't regular police, although I don't know that that would have made much of a difference in Mexico. But they were dressed in all black. They carried big rifles. They drove around in un- unmarked vehicles. And we were told that we had to get out of the car. And they handcuffed us all together. And they threw us in the back of one of their unmarked vans. Needless to say, I was uh, shaking in my tennis shoes, and the guy driving the Explorer that we were in, he was only 17 years old, he said, someone needs to give them money so that they will let us go. And my cousins, who were all there, they lived in Mexico, they didn't seem to be phased by this at all. They were taking the money out of their wallets and hiding it in their socks. And uh, I was terrified on the verge of tears and totally afraid. In the back of the van, I said to my cousins, give them everything. (laughs) And to this day, when I see my cousins, they greet me by laughing and saying, give them everything. That's... (laughs) pretty terrible. In the end, I was the only one who gave the police anything, uh, $40 out of my wallet, and they let us go. I ransomed us out of the dungeon of a Tijuana jail. And you don't know how good it felt that night to lay down in my bed, knowing that I had been rescued from the pit, resting peacefully that night. Well, brothers and sisters, tonight when you lay down in your bed, you can have a great sense of God's deliverance, of peace, of salvation, because the Bible teaches that humanity outside of Christ is in the pit, the dungeon of slavery to sin and death. And you can give everything that you have, all of your good works, all of your money, all of your time, and it wouldn't be enough to pay to get you out of the hole. Jesus is the good shepherd who leads his people out of the realm of death through what? Our good works? No. Our generous tithes and offerings? Certainly not. We're told that he was brought again from the dead through the blood of the eternal covenant. And again, if you've been with us here as we've been studying the book of Hebrews, you know that he's he's referring to the blood of the new covenant, the blood of Jesus, greater than the blood of bulls and goats that once for all cleanses us of all of our sins so that we can have peace with the God of peace. So that we can lay down tonight in our beds and rest knowing that through the blood of the eternal covenant, we've been delivered out of the deepest and darkest pit that now instead of being enslaved in Jesus, you and I are free.